So continue to look here, you'll find out that uh, I've got labels here. This is, uh, you see here, it's hard to see. This is label A and B and C and D. And those are the four test points we have. I've uh, got my power supply at the very top here. I've labeled this just as power. So that's my power supply. And then down here at the very bottom, I've labeled this as my power for uh, the power supply here. So these two alligator clips here, positive red, uh, negative black here. Uh, those are my power supplies from my Lambda power supply that we looked at earlier. Those probes do not move. That's supplying power to my circuit and it does not need to move. The only thing that will move is going to be my reference ground and these are my two meter leads. I've got the special clip here that just sort of clips on here and I can clip that onto my ground and this is at point D and then I'll move my ground to point C and I'll move my ground to point B. Now when I set my ground up, when I set my ground up, the only lead I will move to take measurements is going to be what is labeled the uh, meter probe. This, this, this uh, device here. Oh, there we go. So, so that's my meter probe there. So, so when I'm taking measurements, I'm going to measure at point A, and then point B, point C, and then ground. And when I move ground, I will take my ground probe, and I'm going to move my ground probe to C. And then I will measure again at the same points labeled A, B, C, and D. So measure A to ground, B to ground, C to ground, and D to ground. So we go through those and that's how we measure reference ground readings.